I am heavy weapons guy, and this is my weapon. Hello, this is KR Brickpot, and this is the third of the fourth of the newest wave of Hello Carbot Minis, Mini Mega Bold. So as Mini Mega Bold's a big guy, his box is slightly wider, I mean thicker. He's a thick truck and a slightly thicker box. But nothing else in the height or width. It's all the same width. So yeah, he has a purple side. The side view of the truck toy, green and yellow, same dates and such, Chengrong plastic, yes the robot no accessories, and the front view, since this is a tall box you can see an almost full view of the truck, and popping it out. Big baggy, big truck. So Mega Bold's that fusion truck cabin trailer indeterminable big fat truck thing. So for a tiny little Legion class, the tampographs and paint details are still really well replicated. Like that camo pattern. Although not raised, it still has a really nice intricate camo pattern. And it still has a raised star badge symbol there, like the wings and the badge are all raised. So that's pretty neat. And this hexagonal symbol there with those tiny little triangles are still right there. So that's also pretty neat. But uh, the rest of it is pretty unpainted while well, the silver bumper and the silver carbot symbol are painted and the yellow black, the black windscreen. But the main issue I have with this is those tiny short stack smokestacks. They are very short and very small. They're even more snippier than safety safe. They've been snipped and snippetied. They've been snipped more snorted. They've been snipped. They're snipped more shorter than safety smokestack snipped. Smokestack snick snick snicked. Smokestack snipped. Smoke snack snort snacks. Snipped smokestack snort snack snicked. Snipped smoke smokestacks. They're shrunk shorter than snipped smokestacks from Safety Optimus Primes for safety reasons. Otherwise, it is looking like a pretty toyetic truck. And at least the tailgates are filled in instead of leaving a big gap from the back, but there's a big gap here, so, um, big cargo chunks only. Micromaster, Battlemaster, Diarobo, Nissan GTR, Micromeister, and a Mini Coon. For transformation, I suppose you could start with the arms, with those arrows. So that could help conveniently unlatch those legs, which double hinge over itself, in the exact same manner as the Mega Mega Bold. Fold down the torso there. Fold out the arms, open the cannon, and flip out the head. Mini Mega Bold still a really stodgy truck robo thing with a giant gun in his chest. But at least you can close it up since it's not attached to any levers. So you can at least have him have a big old pot belly. Or non-combat, so you can have him open the cannon only when he needs it. Or one at a time. And you know what this means? Laser truck! The rest of Mini Bold is also pretty well detailed and replicated from the Mega Mega Bold. Like the leg bits, including those unusually well detailed interior legs and painted silver feet and the interior badge arm things. Yeah, they're lacking a little paint compared to the bigger Mega Bold, but yeah, that's not that noticeable. And Mini Bold's got more motion with forward and backward ball socket legs. Take that, Monolith Bold. And of course, he has no knees, but at least he has forward and backward legs, so he can actually walk. 
The arms are restricted compared with the big one because the smokestacks are connected to the shoulders this time instead of separately, so I guess that's why they've been shortened. And of course, no sideways double action, just sideways shoulder action. And the head articulation is the same. But still, moving legs is a big improvement, even if he does lose some arm joints. If you see that head, it's too yellow. It has some green eye visors and orange forehead painted in there, but the rest of his face isn't painted orange, so it's looking too cheeky yellow. Yeah, my main gripe with that. Other than that missing paint, the other bits of missing paint aren't that noticeable and negligible. But yeah, yellow head. Micromaster, Battlemaster, Diarobo, Nissan GTR, Micromeister, and a Mini Coon. So far, I would have to say Mini Mega Bolt's my favorite out of this latest wave so far, because he has the exact same functionality as Mega Mega Bolt and then some. In terms of hinges, well, of course, this thing doesn't have a spinning pew pew thingy. But. Since it's all manual, you can have some more flexible poses with him than that thing. So yeah, the articulation's more important than the spinning gimmick for big boys. And this mini bold is delivers on the motion. In sure, the truck mode is still looking a little weird thingy. Like it still looks weird and also even weirder with very short smokestacks. But it's a nice, fun little rolling truck, and thus, and also laser truck that you can't have on the Mega Mega Bold. Laser truck. And of course, the Maxa Bold's been eco reissued, but why would you pay that big bucker when you can pay this little much? Okay, one more to go. 